Well, it's daybreak here on our eyes, and it's time for the press preview. Our first look at what's on the front pages of the papers will start usually with our sister publication this day. This day on its front page, <coughs> excuse me, Bori hands over transition documents to Tinubu, the president elect, bestows on him GCFR and on his uh, vice, Shatima, GCOM. Let's look at some writers there, says. He ran a good race, finished his course as president. Chad is president-elect, incoming VP, to lead with wisdom, courage, and compassion. Retreats from our Lagos governor, his experience, capacity to lead country. Tinibu to Buhari, wherever you are, meet in Aura or Niger Republic, expect knocks on your doors. Says he's aware of the enormous responsibilities ahead of him. And then just below that, and below that picture of Tinibu and the president, uh, Bawa, fighting financial crimes, crucial uh, national service. Let's, let's look at some other stories. Buhari, National Assembly should be independent, decide own leadership. That is what the president, outgoing president, is saying. Health workers commence indefinite strike nationwide over dispute with the federal government. And on the top mast, NUPRC signs seven regulations to push for accurate crude metering, reduce gas flaring. That's from this day. Well, as expected, the investiture ceremony uh, conferring the highest national awards on President-elect Tinubu and his vice are leading the national papers this morning. Well, the punch... A punch is leading with that story as well, says Tinubu gets transition report, vows to tackle insecurity power crisis. But other stories on the front page of the punch this morning. Airline Su Sirika, that's Nigeria's Minister of Aviation, as Nigeria airplanes arrive today. Court finds lawyer 40 million naira over anti Tinubu inauguration suit. Health workers begin indefinite strike. Federal government shuns demands. Now, this is coming barely days after resident doctors uh, shelved their own uh, or called off their own warning strike. And one last story on the front page of the punch this morning. Reps insist on $2.4 billion oil sale probe. Grill Malami, Niger's Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice. All right, let's look at the Daily Sun and see what its phone pages have for us. The Daily Sun. I hope we have the Daily Sun. Looks like we don't have the dailies. Let's go to the Guardian. Uh, Daily Sun has some interesting stories in front of it. All right, uh, the Guardian. Uh, eight years after, vanity of rich talents as football declines, team sports wobble without laurels. Buhari passes Basin, Basin to Tinibu, says, I've run a good race. Does that remind you of Apostle Paul? Operators kick as FG takes delivery of Nigeria airplanes against court order. Inauguration, agencies beef up security, warn against planned disruption. The Jehesu declares indefinite strike demands adjustment of corn has. Nigeria gets seven oil regulations amid 46.16 billion naira stalling uh, missing crew. That was what uh, Obona was saying this morning, uh, the chairman of NEFTI, NATI, sorry. Court finds ex presidential candidate 40 million naira for seeking to stop Tinibu's inauguration. That's what Isaac was talking about this morning that I said I have not had. Well, Buhari's fragile pieces, a country more fractured than ever. This is just editorial anyway. All right, let's go to the next paper. Yeah, Nigerian Tribune, a uh, busy front page this morning, but it's an interesting one uh, atop the masthead there. What, will we, what we will remember Buhari for, Nigerian speak, Lazy Utes, longest as a strike, Twitter ban, Naira to buy Naira, railway, border closure, banditry, second Niger bridge. I guess you can add yours to the list. But the headline, the boldest on the front page of Niger Tribune this morning, is from the president-elect Chinubu to Nigerians. He says he will not disappoint as the president confers GCFR 
on him and GCON on his vice select Shatima. Well, as the federal government releases white paper of visitation panels, uh, Kano government drops murder charges against Dogoa. Uh, CJN swears in 39 additional election petition tribunal members. There's many more you can find on the front page of the Nigerian Tribune this morning. All right, we have the list on now. Uh, well, that, by the way, uh, he talked about what they will remember Buhari for. Mm -hmm. And it was all ills. So I'm wondering, are there no good things no, also? No, there were, there were also good things like oh, the there. railway. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at the Daily Sun. The Daily Sun will have it now. That's it there. Uh, four days to hand over. Again, DSS alleges plot to disrupt Tinibu's inauguration. Once against comments, publications that will cause violence. It's taboo to name Second Niger Bridge after Buhari. This is coming from the uh, prescribed IPOB. Suggest Ojuku Ekweme. <coughs> as replacement and this is, i don't know what you think about that uh, i mean that was to honor the man that made it possible uh I well mean, talking about the second niger bridge i guess that's the debatable the, the bridge bridge has gone through several administrations but you know there's always that debate as to is it who started it or who finished it who takes the glory but well, again well, well, that, that debate said, is out someone there said, uh, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Well, so you know. if you start and you don't finish, I mean, what's the use? There must always be a start. There will always be, and, a start. and that's why government is a continuum. So yeah. I guess you know, uh, no single. They will get their glory. I mean, the people who start will get their glory. Uh, yeah. But I mean, the person who completed it any time, mm -hmm. I mean, will always be spoken about. Again, it's a it debate. It it's a debate. People <laughs> have me. different views. <laughs> uh, but let's quickly take the foreign uh, papers if we do have the time. Uh, let's look at the eye. The eye leads with the headline, UK population set to overtake France for the first time on record. Can mm. you beat that? Mm. UK population mm -hmm. to overtake that of France? Yes. All right. Well, on the front page of the Guardian, uh, the International Guardian, let's look at it. You see her there, the uh, iconic. Oh, this is not the Guardian of today. Let, let me get to the uh, International Guardian of today because I, I did that yesterday. Okay, The Guardian. Well, she's still there. Tina Turner. She just couldn't stop dancing. Mm. She was so active, so hyper. I mm. think it's hyperactive. Revealed. Braverman planned to uh, deport 3,000 asylum seekers each month. That's quite a number. Indeed. Uh, one Time for one more paper. Let's look at the Financial Times. Financial Times carries the headline, Ministers look at reshaping pension uh, lifeboat fund to give boost to business. Will that be the end? Or can we look? Okay, uh, I go. think it's time to go. Yeah, that's the press preview. Oh, well, not the book. We just took, took, went through the, 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 uh, the, the, the papers. Uh -huh. Follow us on Twitter at Arise TV. Get the latest on our website at Arise TV.